Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Haile with Witness the Light Music. I'm here again, and today I'm going to bring you a quick little tip and technique video that allows you to organize your mix session to get everything where it needs to be based off of your template. Now, I'm going to run you through exactly what my process is, so maybe you can adapt this to your mixing workflow. So this is the instrumental. Now, the producer also sends the instrumental in a uh, beat. It's tracked out session or the actual beat mixed by the producer. Now, my Pro Tools session is set at 120. You can clearly see that that's not the tempo of the instrumental. Let's take a look. That's the beat. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the toolbar. I'm going to click right into the tempo and I'm going to start playback and I'm going to start using T Tango on my keyboard that allows me to tap the tempo into the session. Pretty easy. Let's do it. Look at that. 90 beats per minute, right on beat there. All right, so I got the beat tempo. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the good old plugin from Autotune, Auto Key. And now, I wanna see what key the song is in. Now, in order to reset auto key, I just hit, there we go, C sharp minor. Let's just double check it again. Click on that part there, C sharp minor. All right. Now, I'm just going to put that in, in the comments here. Perfect. And we also know that it's sitting at 90 beats per minute. Perfect. Okay. So, although we're not using the two track instrumental to mix this beat, what I can do is I can use that as my guiding. So I'm going to make this inactive, all right? And I'm going to listen to and play back everything that I can find here and start organizing my session. All right. So what an excellent sort of uh, opportunity to show you something here. If you are an artist and you're sending your music off to a mix engineer, Having all of your vocals, all of your instrumentation named is going to save your engineer a lot of time. So here, everything is named. Hats, hats, clap, chords, bass, everything is named, which is perfect. Because all I need to do now, because I know what my template is like, all I need to do is quickly grab everything. So for example, I'm going to open up this instrumental folder. I'm going to grab this file, 808, throw it in my bass bus. This is a vocal file, and I know it's one of the artists on the track, so I'm gonna color code it a different color. This is the chorus, I'm gonna color code him a different color. This is another artist on the track, Joe. We're gonna color code him another color. And then we got Josh, and we're gonna color code him a different color, all right. Now, this is the chorus, sing left, sing right. We're gonna grab that, we're gonna put that in as red. Okay, here's the bass. Now, I'm gonna grab this bass, I'm gonna drag and drop it right where my bass bus is. And that literally will be the process. Now, I got my clap, my hats, and my uh, other hats. That's gonna go into my drum bus here, if you can look a look, take a look. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to open that folder up. We've got the kick bus, open, claps, arms. Okay, what else we got here? Chords. Let's drag and drop that. That's going to be my harmonies. All right. Kick. Perfect. Drag and drop that right into my kick bus. Done. And those are all chorus. So we're going to color code that red. This low synth 
is a synth. I'm going to drop it right into, well, there it is. That's my five minute video. My alarm went off trying to get you as much information as possible in that five minute. Hopefully this was able to show you exactly how I do this process and how quick it can be if you have everything named and labeled properly. All right. Thanks for checking it out. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, please thumbs up, like, subscribe, 